Hi there, thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean, this is Woodwork Journey, and today we've got another review. This time it's about masks. We all should be wearing them, and one of the reasons that we don't sometimes is the fact that they're difficult, they're bulky, they're a pain in the bum to get on and off, all that sort of nonsense. However, today we've got a couple of these masks. You probably have seen some that are very similar. In fact, you may have seen these exact ones, but um, this is from a company called Basecamp. Now, Basecamp have worked hard to try and get these not only comfortable but also something that you're going to be able to kind of move around in a lot easier and they've taken into account things like steaming up with glasses. Now I know someone's going to say this before we get any further and that's that I've got a beard. Masks generally do not work as well if you've got a beard or you're unshaven. We know that, that's fact, that's a thing. However I wear a mask because something is better than nothing in my opinion and um, this one in particular which is the smaller one of the two the base camp have sent me. I wore this a lot doing the um, kind of refurbish of the bungalow when we first moved in and had all that work we had to do. They actually sent me this um, last, was it end of last year? I think it was the end of last year. Um, and yeah, I've just now only been able to get around to doing a review of it. However, they did send me this big bad boy one as well. And I will show you close ups of all of these and show you the differences. But this one they sent to me more recently. Now then, I am gonna do a giveaway. So I've got a couple of the little ones to give away. Um, so wait till the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can get one of those if you're in the UK. Can't do it everywhere in the world, but if you're in the UK. Righty, so today we've got these two base camp masks. You can see this one has been a lot more used than this one, and that's because this is the one that I've been using while doing up the bungalow, um, whereas this one I've just been using in here. So then, let me show you quickly the differences between these two. This first one, a little bit smaller. We've got thinner straps going on along this kind of area. If I move these side by side, you can see what we've got going on. This one has a much larger area that goes over the ears, whereas these ones just have the little straps. The fixing for the Velcro, that's the fixing that we've got on, um, on this one, whereas on this one, we've got a much longer fixing like that, which possibly could give, give you a little bit more adjustability depending on the size of your head. We do have some elastic going on in the middle and here, whereas we don't here. However, this material, this neoprene going on here is not really stretchy. That doesn't do anything when I try and stretch that out. However, this neoprene does stretch. That one absolutely moves out and you can uh, adjust that. Now, obviously we've got the filter holes going on right in there and they are filtered out by, or sorted out by undoing these. All we've got to do is open this like so and out it comes like so. Popping a filter back in again. Obviously we make sure that we've got that in the right holes. We move that back through there and we screw it together like so. That works the same on both of them. Now the important bit on this one is the inside. And you'll see that on this one, we've got this nose strip going on right here. So this is a bag of filters, but I will show you what comes with the pack as well. However, um, what you can also buy from them is these. And I think these, to be honest with you, I think you should get a couple of these in every single pack um, without having to order them as separates. But if you're like me and you've got a little nose, you order one of these. And what it is, it's basically this kind of green foam thingamajig that's 3M. So we've got a decent sticky on the back of it. And then that just sticks along the top of the the, um, of the filter as so and that means that it just really seals across the top of the nose nicely which I think is really really good. So basically with this one it's a little bit chunkier, a little bit chunkier over the ears and stretchy whereas with this one not stretchy however it's a little bit more lightweight we've got littler things that go over the ears. You can still put your little green doofy do on there if you want to for your nose. Um, and these are the ones that I will be giving a couple away of. Now in the package, I think this is the one that's been unopened or one of the ones that's been unopened. In here, we will get the, uh, the, 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 the how-to, all that sort of nonsense. We'll get the mask itself. I don't want to get this full of muck if I'm going to be giving it away. And then we also get a packet of filters as well. So it'll keep you going for a fair while. 
without having to worry about um, going out and replacing filters anywhere else. But I will leave links down below for all of this for you so you can see exactly what you get. But I will say that if you do order them, ordering a bunch of these will take you through a few boxes of, uh, of filters and stuff as well, or packets of filters. So yeah, I would definitely, definitely get some of these. They should be in there as standard, in my opinion. Masks generally are not sexy things to be able to talk about, but they are essential. And I must admit, these are some of the better ones that I've ever used. And they're very comfortable. Um, this bit, I think with this one, originally it used to kind of flop around over the top of my ears quite a lot and make my ears bend down. Um, and this one does that too. But, you know, it is what it is. It's a mask, isn't it? This is the smaller of the two masks. Pinching at the top. Glasses on and the breathing test. We're nice and tight on the nose. But we are getting some steaming and that is a massive pain in the bum hole. However, with this little strip on the top there, which is quite thick, No steam. Nothing is steaming up at all. I'm breathing extra heavy. Kinky. And it's doing a fine job. This thicker one does make my ear bend over a bit. This is the smaller one. A little bit easier on the ears. Nice and snug around the back of the neck. So what do you think? We've obviously got the larger mask, which is the N plus. Um, so yeah, it's a much larger mask, but we have got some extra sort of benefits from that, as I hope you saw in the close ups. Um, or we've got the smaller mask. Now then I am going to be doing a giveaway. As I said, I've got a couple of the smaller masks that they sent me last year, which I'll give away to someone in the UK. Um, make sure that you comment, mask me up, baby. That'll <laughs> be in the comments down below. Only one entry per person, please. And what we'll do is we'll figure out some sort of code via email system and all that sort of nonsense. So, yeah, I will reply to the winner down below and then you send me an email. We'll do a code thing and then, yeah, so no one being naughty. <laughs> but we'll get a couple of these out and I'll throw in a couple of the nose things as well. All in all, they're solid masks. I've had similar ones and cheaper ones off Amazon and they've definitely not been as good as these um, that no strip makes a massive difference as I said but even without it it still does a grand they still do a grand job um, so yeah let me know what you think down below I would love it if they um, were stocked in the UK but the fact that I believe you're not meant to have to pay any import charges or anything on them I think that kind of cancels that out but yeah I would love someone to stock them here in the UK maybe abrasives Barry what do you reckon anyway that's about it for now thank you very much for watching and I'll see you very very soon bye bye